Hey what's up guys welcome back to another tech tutorial in this tutorial i'll show you guys how to make a cheap microphone sound like a 300 dollar professional studio microphone so keep watching <laughs> Before we start this tutorial, if you are new to my channel and wish to see my future uploads, consider subscribing to this channel for more quality tutorials. Let's move on with the tutorial. This is the basic microphone setup. The recording software receives the audio signals from the microphone and it is saved in your PC. Now what we are going to do is to modify this setup to make the audio better. The audio signals from the microphone is sent to a voice modification software and then the modified audio signal is transferred to the recording software through a virtual cable. Now you will experience a far better audio than before. I'll show you guys a sample clip with and without the use of modification software and with the same microphone. This is my voice without using any software. This is my voice using modification software. For this setup we require two softwares, voice meter and a virtual cable. The links for downloading these softwares are provided in the video description. Once you have downloaded and installed them, make sure to restart your PC. Then go to the start menu and search for sound settings. In that, go to the recording tab and now you may see two new recording devices, cable output and a voice meter output. Set the cable output as the default recording device and apply the settings. After that, go to the chart menu and search for voice meter. This is how the voice meter interface looks like. As you can see, there are a lot of settings to work with in this software. But for our tutorial, we just need to change a few settings only. First, mute hardware 2 and the virtual input. We need only one channel for recording the voice. That is a hardware input 1. So go to the hardware input 1 and from the drop down, select your microphone. I am using a blue snowball microphone, so I am selecting this option. Then. Set the gain value to minus 6.9 dB. You may change this value if you wish to. After that, change the audibility to a value between the range 2.5 and 3.5. This will help you to cancel out some of the background noise. You can see a dark square to the left of the audibility settings. This is the voice brightness settings. This will make your voice more crispy and strong. You may change the position of the red indicator to change the level of voice brightness to get a desired voice. For my voice, this position feels good. Now you are almost done. The last settings is the hardware output. As I told you before, we are using a virtual cable. Therefore, the hardware output must be the cable input of the virtual cable. That's it. You have successfully configured the voice meter. Now you can use any third party recording softwares to record your voice using the cable output as the recording device. You can even use the voice recorder from Windows just like I do. The only condition for this setup to work is that when you are recording, you must keep the voice meter open the whole time. That's it guys, this is the end of the tutorial. If you like this video, click the like button and subscribe to my channel. See you guys in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching.